Hello everybody, hello judges. My name is Audrey and I'm from SMP Negeri Dua dan Pasar Bali. Today, I'm going to be telling you an Indonesian children's story entitled The Mouse Deer and the Turtle. Are you ready to listen? Once upon a time in West Kalimantan Forest, there was a mouse deer, Kanchil, and a turtle. They were best friends. One day, they decided to go fishing at the lake. Each of them carried a poisonous tooth made from poisonous fruits. They hoped to be able to catch a lot of fish. On their way, they met an antelope. They wondered where they were going and asked, Hey guys, where are you going to? Kanchil answered, Oh, we're going to go fishing at the lake. Oh, sounds fun. Can I join? Sure, the more the merrier. Three is much more fun than two. And the three of them continued on their journey. Along the way in the valley, they met a boar. He was interested to join Kanchil and his friends and ask, Hey, fellas, where are you heading to? Oh, we're going to go fishing at the lake. Since it is the fishing season, who knows? Maybe we can catch a lot of fish. You want to come and join us? You can get me in. On their journey, they met a bear, a buffalo, an elephant, a deer, a bull, and a crocodile. The ten of them continued on their journey as a big group. Together, they went and eventually they arrived at the lake. Soon after, they built small huts to stay for the night. Then, they made fishing traps out of bamboo and went fishing. They caught a lot of fish. Some of them carried fish on their shoulders, while others caught the fish and smoked them until they were dry. Since it was already late at night, they agreed to call it a day and would continue the next morning. The next morning, they decided that the bear was a perfect fit to stand guard and keep an eye on the fish, while the others went fishing because the bear had a big body, long nails, and sharp teeth. This which surely scared the thief away. Shortly after, the bear was on high alert. Suddenly, a tiger appeared out of nowhere. He was starving. He didn't have any food. He then spoke to the bear harshly. Hey, bear, give me your dried fish. The bear sneers. <laughs> Who do you think you are, huh? We worked hard fishing and smoking the fish, and you want to devour them? And no way! And then they began to fight each other. However, the bear was so tired during the fight, he passed out, and the tiger ate all of the fish. In the afternoon, when the others returned, they found the bear crying in pain, and he told them about their battle with the tiger. They then thought of ways to cope with their problem with the tiger and decided that the elephant should stand guard since his body was much more bigger. His legs were strong and sturdy and his trunk can easily twist a tiger. The next day, they felt relaxed leaving their fish. But guess what happened next? The tiger came back. He didn't care and took no fear when he saw the elephant walking back and forth keeping an eye on the fish. He approached closer and said, Hey, elephant, give me your dried fish. The elephant responded angrily, Yesterday, you took all of our dried fish. Now, you won't take them again, you scoundrel. The elephant immediately lifts his trunk to strike. But the tiger was skillfully parried under the blow and swooped. It was inevitable indeed. When the others returned, they couldn't find the elephant anywhere. Elephant, where are you? Where's all the dried fish we caught yesterday? Elephant, elephant! Kanchil and the others couldn't find him. Shortly after, they found the elephant sighing and talking in a low voice. His hair got here again. Without further explanation, they knew what had happened. So they had to assign another guard. In short, 
each of them took turns to stand guard, one by one. But all of them gave up. Only Kanchil and Turtle had not guarded. And since the turtle was regarded to be too weak and powerless against the tiger, Kanchil was chosen to stand guard next. Now even though Kanchil's body was tiny, he was resourceful and witty. Before all his friends left, Kanchil collected as many pieces of ratans as possible and chopped them up into one Cuban link. He then pretended to look busy by making circles for legs, body, neck, knees. From a distance, the tiger spied. What is Kanchil doing? He then approached closer from curiosity. Kanchil pretended not to notice he was being spied on and continued making circles. Then the tiger asked, Dear Kanchil, can I have your dried fish? Oh, sure, go ahead. Take as much as you want. I'm busy making necklaces and bracelets and some rings. Aren't they pretty? Kanchil kept making circles and circles until they all linked up and looking at the sky as he was observing something. This astonished the tiger to see Kanchil's behavior and asked, What are the circles for? Oh, you see, Kanchil answered wittily. Those who put on the bracelets can see what's going on in the sky. Behold, as you can see, a lot of people dancing joyfully in the sky. Kanchil put on the bracelet and looked up in the sky as he was enjoying the wonderful scenery. The tiger got curious and put on the rings. Hey, I can't see anything. Are you lying? Oh, no silly. That's because you didn't wear enough rings. You see, your body is much more bigger, so you need to wear a lot of rings. Here, let me help you. Kanchil put all the rings on the tiger's legs until the tiger couldn't move his legs anymore. Finally, the tiger couldn't move his entire body. Kanchil was laughing. <laughs> See, this is what you get. You devoured all of our dried fish, you monster. The tiger kept begging for mercy and to be let go, but Kanchil wouldn't release him until he told him where he hid the rest of the dried fish. It's over there, under the almond tree. While the others returned and they saw the tiger, they immediately laughed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the tiger became rage and promised to take revenge. Then he kept begging for mercy and promised not to do it again. They let him go and he ran as fast as possible. Everyone collected all the dried fish and went back home. The bull then gave an idea. Since we're on our way home, it'd be better to split the fish amongst us. Whoever has the biggest body would surely get the biggest share. Everyone, like the elephant and the deer, agreed. But Kanchil and the turtle didn't agree, but they approved of it. Then Kanchil said, Since we are still in the forest, it'd be better to keep the eye on the fish together. There's still a lot of danger we could face. And since I walk up on the front of their line, I will take initiative. If there is danger ahead, I'll show a signal and you should disperse yourself to save each other, okay? Everyone agreed. As we were all calling about their shares, Kanjo showed a signal of danger. Everyone was scared, panicked, and ran! Some of them stumbled while others fell into a hole. Kanjo and Turtle remained calm and the fish became all theirs. These two best friends walked home together, singing and dancing joyfully. The end. The moral lesson of this story is, no matter how small or tiny you are, you should never give up and you can do a lot of things. Thank you everybody for listening. Hope to see you all next time. Goodbye!